Hey, what up, guys? I'm Tahir Moore. And I'm Patrick Cloud. And this is another episode of Damn Internet. You scary. Hey, Tahir done remixed the, remixed the format. I like it. Hey, man, listen, if I'm going to be paying for it, I'm going to use it for everything, bro. <laughs> I wish I, I wish I could figure out a way to do a speed dating thing. I would have people on speed dating. Georgia niggas. <laughs> How many people can uh, come in here at once? Ten. It's limited to ten with StreamYard. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Damn, yeah. I think I'm paying for StreamYard, too. I need to do, like, a cleanse of my auto pay bills. Mm -hmm. Because it's kind of like... You just forget and move on to other stuff. Like I'm still paying for like Buzzsprout on a podcast I don't do anymore. Like it's just it's just a bunch of stuff that I feel like it's a lot top of the year. You should it's do. A lot. I'm a, uh yeah. I, I definitely I went through yesterday. I was thinking about what all I was paying on. Like what can I get rid of, man? But I am excited to announce. I was going to put it in the, in the chat too. I have insurance now for all three of my cars because the old school was just sitting, so I wasn't really driving like that. So I didn't have insurance no. on it. But they was like, hey, we finna suspend your registration. I was like, okay, let me get this insurance. People, people, people. And my insurance for three cars with full coverage is out of three hundred dollars. So very good. That is that's the most adulting announcement I've probably ever heard in my <laughs> life. <laughs> guys, guys. <laughs> Yo. This is shirt, all my automobiles under three hundred. Yo, that is such a real thing though, because like, bro, I remember when Fran first moved out here. Um for two cars and putting her on insurance, it was like at 350 or something like that, <laughs> close to four. And that was for two cars. Really? Now I have three, goddamn me, and we under 300? Shit, man, I'm I'm ecstatic right now. That's pretty dope, actually. Yeah. Um, but um, I guess the opposite of adulting would be childish shit. Yep. Uh, we actually tried out. Uh, somewhat of a, it's a little, it's a little wild, but we tried out somewhat of a, a freestyle over Streamyard, and uh, it's not bad. We might be able to do this. We might be able to do this uh, over Logan, online. Logan's is not the same content. Nigga, no, I mean, have, yeah, you gonna have Peter all at our door, like cancel these niggas. They actually say niggas if you did that same freestyle. They'd be like, cancel these niggas, man. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put some. Uh, some uh, some genres that you guys want to hear in the uh, in the chat, and we will do our best to do the first successful <laughs> Zoom freestyle. I know we've tried before, and it was y'all were hearing the beat one second, us another second. You know, ad libs from people who weren't even there. So we're gonna try uh, anime opening intro. Yeah, that's all. Oh, that's wow. intense. You know what we haven't done though? We could do like a regular freestyle with a regular beat, and we could just rap about the stuff that people put in the chat, either rhyming with whatever they say or rhyming with their name. Okay, so you want to go from technically this could potentially work to a full on freestyle gauntlet <laughs> where you got to be damn black thought to make it. <laughs> Switch it and stuff. Is this is this is this something we gotta do in person or something? We, uh, uh, you know what? We we can we can say that one for in person. We can say that one like for that's, a, that's an in person. <laughs> Plus, I don't like where my mind's at right now. I don't think we, if you just gave me a regular freestyle, I don't I don't like where uh, I don't. Uh, think my last freestyle was a little uh, risky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I think we went all the way there. Yo, we can do five figures of death, and I just switch up the beat, but it'll be something like the same beat. So <laughs> I just switch it up. <laughs> Let's give it a try. The worst, that happen, the worst that could happen is it doesn't work. That's it. To hear is trying to burn a trash can and wrap around it in the cold like a old school <laughs> New York MC. All right. Yo, let's, let's give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. I'm trying to get my brain ready for five different beats. <laughs> I got a rap. <laughs> All five beats. <laughs> uh, unless you want to switch it up, uh, you could do it. Yeah, just just change the beat more we'll frequently three. than you would. We'll do three. We'll do the three three fingers okay. of death. It'll be, a be doing like a minute and a half each. No, 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 no. We doing we doing like twenty seconds, fifteen seconds each. I'm that. not. I'm not papoose. All yeah, right. no. Nah, we we doing literally like fifteen <laughs> seconds each. This will be this will be pretty quick. Ten to fifteen seconds each. All right. <laughs> all right. And I'll try to make them all the same, like the same BPM. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> 
Yeah. Queens Bridge. I got my bubble jacket. I'm at the bodega. What up, Poppy? Just ordered a chopped cheese. Let's go. Hey, what up, Dunn? Let's do it. Hey. Mask on, I'm the black Jim Carrey. Welcome to damn internet, you scary. I'm in New York, I just took the train. Damn, all these other niggas, hella lame. Hey, podcast on that ass. Drink. Oh, I, I can't hear it. Oh, shit. That, was that a beat change? I did. I switched up the beat. And you oh, was but it was, I had the mic when you did that. So it just, I was, it was just. Yeah, listen, I don't know. If you, if you would have, if you would have rapped the same, it still would have been on beat the whole time though. I want, I can't <laughs> wait to watch the playback to see if it like, if it both of them registered. I was I like, oh no, I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> it was great though. We, I can't wait to do that in, in person. Like. That freestyle is gonna be dope when we do that. We gotta have a guest for that one next week. Yeah, that's let's call it slightly different, like five toes of death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it don't sound as scary. You'd be like, "Yeah, I'll do that." <laughs> five pinky toes of death. <laughs> <laughs> five toes of death. That's so less intimidating. If Sway did that, it'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have ten toes? <laughs> Let's do more. Let's do more. <laughs> All right. Um, well, it, in the spirit of freestyle, happy MLK Day. Um, just found out that he started feeling himself halfway through the, the speech and started freestyling the whole "I have a dream" part. That is incredible to me. But that does seem like some pastor shit, though. <laughs> like, I feel like pastor's best stuff is, like, off the off the dome. But I guess, yeah, when it got to that part of I had a dream, he that part was not planned. So that's yeah. kind of uh, that's kind of cool. MLK was had bars. That's I, I, I you know what? <laughs> we were talking about Meg because Meg was going to do that whole MLK thing with her kid today. It's like, yo. As an adult, sitting through the whole I have a dream speech would been like, whoo, he up there, he up there preaching it, ain't he? To tell the kid. <laughs> that is true. All the people who were like, this nigga's taking kind of long. Like, this is hype, but and they like left early. And then this became like the most famous speech of our history. And they're just like, yeah, I was there. <clears throat> oh, really? What did he say? Well, he was up there talking about uh, you know, you know, Martin, peaceful, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot of it was like a million niggas there too. It was yeah. <laughs> parking, parking was crazy. Oh uh, man. How many people were really at the million man march? I feel like it was like a hundred, right? Um, I don't know. I feel like we could look that up though. Let me see how many people were in attendance. How many they should have that documented, right? How many people? Uh Wikipedia. Um uh, Oh, 400,000. Oh, wow. Wait, is that accurate, though? Let me try somewhere else. Oh, I see. I got 250,000 people, supporters on the steps of Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. This speech was a defining moment in civil rights history. Yeah. Hey, whoever told me it was 100 is an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to hella reduce this shit. You know, there's only like 100 people there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so there's, there's a lot of people there. Yeah, Sorry, guys, I wasn't born yet. Um, I, <laughs> are you? What do people do on MLK Day? Because I remember when we were trying to plan Squadcast, uh, we were just like, "What do you? What, are y'all busy on MLK Day?" And I was just kind of like, "No, like, what? Do you, what's? What are the to dos? Like, what are we supposed to do today? I mean, I'd be remembering, you know, I'd be sitting there and remembering. And I think, I think we should try to like just call all your black friends and tell them that you love them. Okay, there's no like dinners or like meetups, party. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, it's parties normally parties and you know mixtape releases, some sales. <laughs> parties? You've been to an MLK party? Like at Ooh. a club? They have it. Uh, like they would have it on Sundays. They would have it on Sundays typically. I remember the flyers. Mm -hmm. I do remember the flyers that went viral. Mm -hmm. Damn. Okay. Well, uh, all right. I'm glad that everybody's just like, oh, we chill. I thought there was a uh, some event that I didn't know about. Okay. Hold on. Jaquan said he had to memorize 
and recite it in middle school. You had to memorize the whole I have a dream speech and recite it. I do remember something about that. Like we had to memorize at least the first couple lines of, of that and the what was the four score and seven years ago shit. Uh um, yeah. that's that's something different though, Pat. What that's the Pledge of Allegiance, ain't it? Oh, that's Abraham Lincoln's speech. Oh, Abraham Lincoln's all right. But I'm yeah. saying like, people people did the pledge. Like we stood up, I think in middle school, not in middle school, elementary school, we stood up and said the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States and for what is it? like we did that. Yeah, that's not a speech. <laughs> <laughs> you right. We had to memorize. That's true. Which is funny. I think they took God out of there, which would have been a very problematic um years ago but i feel like everything's sensitive now but I, I don't i don't know what they say now but they had to take god out of that thing and the big guy in the sky that's what they say instead of god <laughs> <laughs> one nation under the big man indivisible <laughs> like we didn't know what the hell what, what is indivisible do you know what indivisible means you can't divide it oh clearly one nation under god indivisible mm. with liberty okay yeah, see, I don't be doing stuff. Did you know that, or did you figure that out right now when you thought about it? No, I just I knew that. As a kid, you were like indivisible. Well, not as a kid. As a kid, you were just reciting from memory. Yeah, I was just saying it like indivisible. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> once I started learning words, yeah, you know, I was like, oh, indivisible. Can't divide. Y'all, y'all acting like y'all knew what that was. Shut up, y'all. Y'all don't. Know well, I mean, you, you did division, and then once you learn like prefaces, you learn that indivisible. It's like un. So it's, you can't divisible? be divisible. You've heard you've you've heard you hear that word in just no. Just, I said you know division. You know division is dividing. Okay, I, I knew that from there. And then once you learn prefaces like un, in, and stuff like that, you're just like oh, indivisible. You can't divide it. Okay, damn that whole. You're right. We were just memorizing stuff like that was some very grown like and to the republic for which it stands like this sounds like star wars like this is very like bro we were signing up for the army in we were little school. soldiers wow. <laughs> so random like the speech thinking of it like i pledge allegiance right <laughs> that's wild every day i pledge allegiance indivisible like fam that's really creepy now that i'm looking back okay well <laughs> Lola said hey. to hear school and pat on words. And I feel like that was a, 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 a stab at me because I'd be messing up words. So <laughs> well, it happens every now and then, guys. You know, so we help each other out. By definition. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot. Uh, uh, I do want to uh, I do want to talk about church today. I, I want to talk about church. Uh, I want to talk about fraud oh, um yeah. and i want to talk about uh uh childish pettiness and maybe some conspiracy but before all of that i do want to talk about hot pockets um <laughs> Wait, what i want to talk about hot pack hot pockets but one second give me a second that's so random you go from all <laughs> all the topics and then just say hot pockets like nigga what happened last night that that was on your mind Hot Pockets? Hot Pockets. Were you a fan of Hot Pockets? Come on. We all know you were. Hot Pockets? I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love that good Hot Pocket, but I, ne I never, ever was able to get a, a Hot Pocket properly heated. Like, either oh, it didn't exist. overly hot or without the edges burning. You got one of those. You either going to get it cold a little bit in that center, or you're going to burn them edges. You were never able to eat a Hot Pocket the entire way without either throwing some away or reheat it. Yeah, it's either ice cold in the middle or lava mm -hmm. level hot. So that's definitely um not a not a surprise. I don't think anybody could get the right temperature. Although I wonder if air fryers would be different because we did uh we did Except change the technologies. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately I will not be trying that because uh Nestle, who I did not uh realize owned hot pockets, but they just recalled pepperoni hot pockets over concerns that they contain glass and plastic. Where were they making these hot pockets? What alley were they making these? <laughs> what alley in Baltimore were they making these hot pockets? 
seconds. This was straight up for real. Alleys, there's a little <laughs> syringe in it. But that is just, I don't know why that's grosser than like contamination. Well, I guess that is contamination, but I guess that's grosser than if it was just like some type of food or weird food in it, like how it uh, usually is. I don't know why, but how does that happen? Like in the hot pocket? <laughs> but yep, apparently just recalled for con being contaminated with hazardous materials. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Food Safety uh, and it, excuse me, Agriculture's Food Safety and in Inspection Service. I didn't know it was called that. Announced Friday that Nestle Prepared Foods is recalling particularly uh, particular pepperoni hot pockets that reportedly contain glass and hard plastic. There are four consumer complaints of foreign materials found inside the frozen snacks. One of the complaints reported a minor oral injury associated with the consumption of the contaminated product. Well, that could have just been burns, low key. Uh, no. Nah, 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 nah. You know the difference between your mouth getting burned and then chewing on a piece of glass. Oh, yeah, for sure. But I'm just saying, all they said was there was a, a minor a minor oral injury associated with the consumption of the product. And it's like, we've all we all have minor minor oral injuries eating hot pockets. Like that that's that, true. I didn't know you could report that, but and honestly, if you're chewing on some glass, that's not minor at all. Like that's <laughs> that's that's the highest of keys. <laughs> cold red like everybody full alert that is the <laughs> highest of keys that's nothing minor about chewing glass man hey well you imagine somebody chewing glass like <laughs> if you know how the glass breaks from a uh from a window and it shatters to all those people they <laughs> <laughs> and every time there's <laughs> more blood is coming out of your mouth just like yeah so i can <laughs> ah yo that is <laughs> the worst <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, if you're uh, if you're eating hot pockets, um, Be careful. you should probably stop anyways. But still, yeah. there's a uh, glass pockets. <laughs> <laughs> what if they went to what if they went to court and, and hot pockets whole stands was like, bro, but you was eating a hot pocket. Like, yeah, but you shouldn't have had glass in it, bro. You're 38. <laughs> you was eating a hot pocket. You kind of brought that on yourself. <laughs> It says on the back, could be glass. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody reads these. Nobody reads this. You should have stopped. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dog. That's all bad. That is all bad. Yes. I mean, I, I, I used to knock those back with the White Castles. So. Wait, wait, what? what? With the White Castles? Hot Pockets and White Castles? The, the microwavable hot, uh, White Castles? Really? Oh, man. I didn't even wow. know it was a restaurant until I was a teenager. I used to kill those things. The little the little two mini ones that are frozen together. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm just surprised that you are admitting this. Those are good eats. Well, those are good eats. Um, if you're like Patrick <laughs> and you're eating hot pockets and white castles together, uh, bless your heart, but it's it would seem like you're trying to save money. And uh, if saving money is at the top of your resolution list and you're still paying in the sound in the same amount of money every month for wireless, what are you really doing? Mm -hmm. All right. Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save this year as the first company to sell premium wireless service online only. Mint Mobile lets you maximize your savings with plans starting at just fifteen dollars a month. Fifteen dollars. What can you buy with fifteen dollars? I can buy. Back in the day, I could buy almost two CDs. Today, I could buy like one extra value meal. I could buy two subs or Subway. Uh, $15 a month ain't nothing. That's you broke that down amount. fast. Bro, that's, that's the amount that you... <laughs> that's, that's two boxes or three boxes of Hot Pockets. Um, that's literally one of the candles that I buy because the candles are actually more than than what you could, you could spend to get... Uh, a monthly service from Mint Mobile. For people looking to save extra savings this year, uh, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks. By going mm -hmm. online only and eliminating the, eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes significant savings to you. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You get to use your own phone. It's one of the greatest things. A lot of times when you switch companies, they want you to give up their phone. You can use your own phone and keep your same number 
and along with all your contacts. That's another thing. You switch companies, man, you have to go in, you mm -hmm. have to do the old contact thing and switch it over, especially if you're switching from platforms. Like if you switch from iOS to Android, ah, it's a whole thing. But you don't have to do any of that with Mint Mobile because they will ship uh, the plan and everything straight to your door. And if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their seven day money back guarantee. So switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month to get your wireless plan to just 15 bucks a month. Please, please, please go to mintmobile.com slash DIYS. That's mintmobile.com slash DIYS and cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash DIYS. Ships right to your door. You hear me? That's such a good, like, top of the year thing to do. Like, we were just talking about going over your bills, all your auto pay bills, and cleaning out the ones you don't need. Your phone bill is for sure one of those. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, just knocking that down from like a hundred and something ridiculous to around 30 to 50. Oh, man, it's necessary. That's it's the 2021. Very necessary. Necessary. Very necessary, man. So, you know. <laughs> Be necessary. Um, a, a speaking of uh, <laughs> clearing, <laughs> clearing your... Speaking of clearing your life out, um, I uh, I just have a couple of quick things to say about uh, the farewell of our our, our current leader uh, because um, it's hilarious. It's getting funnier. Um, I did not know. I don't think. I don't even know if uh, any presidents have ever asked for this, but I guess low key. Trump requested to the Pentagon that uh, he wanted a military style farewell parade. Did you hear about that? No, it didn't come out until the Pentagon denied it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's just like, man, going out bad. It says the Pentagon has rejected Trump's request for a military style farewell parade as his last day in office is rapidly approaching. Apparently, he requested that he wanted his exit from D.C. to be extravagant, involving a military-style parade as his supporters cheer from the sidelines. Uh, the Pentagon officials rejected the idea and said there were no plans of a military send-off for Trump. It was unclear if he wanted the parade at the White House since he publicly announced that he will not be in attendance as uh, at President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration. Um, Yo. <laughs> You imagine, you imagine Trump. <laughs> you imagine Trump trying to like get this. He said, he said the, uh, <laughs> he said the text to them was like, "Yo, I want a, I want a military style outro. I want you guys there, guns blazing, soldiers and all." And they hit him with the quick, nah. <laughs> 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 that's such a good gift <laughs> bro the funny that's exactly what i picture and that's the funniest part like him trying to barter like what he can get he's just like well can i get, at least get the planes like no trump oh man. can i get the people can i get a tank no oh my god can i, just, can I get some fireworks no pistols <sighs> You really do it. Hummers? Like, he's really just like, come on, man. Like, what can I what can I get? And they're just like, nah, fam. Nah. Yeah, they was like, nah. Nah. Wow. <laughs> Big bad. Big bad. Um, <laughs> in, in similar news, though, the, uh, you know that Trump baby blimp? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When he's in a diaper, yeah. The Trump baby blimp uh, is actually going to live on in a British museum. This is like the worst I've ever seen. That the, literally that twenty foot tall blimp that was created ahead of uh, the President Trump's first visit to the UK. London's mayor gave permission for it to fly above the city during the visit, uh, and oh, now wow. it's uh, it's literally going to be displayed in the Museum of London alongside other remnants of public protests. The blimp was created. Uh, I just said that part. Um, but yeah, apparently uh, thousands of Britons protested his presence in the country. And uh, since then, it has followed Trump on his trips around the world, appearing in D.C. at, the, at several rallies and international tours. It That's literally cool. went by. It went like crazy to the point where it was emulated around the world. But that's um, that's embarrassing. 
he the, the the little baby has a phone in his hands. I never seen that. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, but <laughs> that's crazy. Like your clowning will live on uh forever Bro. in terms of uh in a museum. That's what, a what's crazy also about that story is to think about London having a mayor. I don't know why it seems so weird. <laughs> London has it's such a big territory. I guess you know it makes sense that they would have a mayor because it's a it's a big city. But I don't know why. I just was like, nah, London doesn't have a mayor, right? Like it's it's a prime minister. Or I, I I don't know like UK politics and the positions of of holding those politics. So I never even thought about like <laughs> the fact that they even had a mayor, right? You just think right. you assume that they have like an earl, yeah. <laughs> Or just like a king or a, a lord. Uh, <laughs> um, but this is actually pretty funny, too. Um, two Florida men. It's good already. Uh, they're fighting in court right now over a bet that they made over the 2020 presidential election. This is between Sean Hines, who's a Donald Trump supporter. Uh, I guess he failed to pay his friend Jeffrey Acosta, a Joe Biden supporter, $100 for Biden winning. Apparently it was a hundred dollar bet. Uh, now the Tampa Bay Times says that Heinz refuses to acknowledge Biden's victory. So there are people that are literally like, "No, he did not win." Uh, so now he's getting sued for the hundred plus two hundred and fifty in court cost and three hundred dollars in interest. So already, <laughs> already, your bet is less than half of your court fees so you're really going through all of this time and effort court, being in court sucks even for petty stuff obviously it sucks for the horrible things but like for pet like you i, I can't imagine how annoyed their lawyers or the, the defendant must have been like fam are you serious like just i, I wouldn't even know what's what that's about not, that's you you're absolutely right everybody should be like annoyed the lawyers the judge the bailiff everybody like when they read the docket uh we got court case docket number four five three eight two one uh <laughs> in a manner where the plaintiff is suing uh the defendant for the amount of seven hundred and fifty dollars hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> excuse me yeah the uh the uh the plaintiff had uh made a bet with the defendant and um he is uh refuses to pay Okay, how much was the bet for? The bet was for two hundred and fifty dollars, Your Honor. So where's the seven come? Uh, you know, interest, pain, and no, suffering. Court fees were two hundred and fifty. The bet was only one hundred dollars. <laughs> oh my god, bro! <laughs> oh my god, bro! That was probably they probably paid a cool twenty dollars to park. I guarantee you. E easy, easy, <laughs> easy. That is. Florida Petty. Oh my God! What is what's wrong with people, bro? A hundred dollars? You you wilding over a hundred dollars? All right, bro. That's a lot, but hey, Florida people will Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Florida's going Florida. No, no Florida's matter. Florida's going Florida. Them Florida's be Florida. <laughs> Florida us be Florida. But um, I will I will give them this. I don't, I don't know if there's any of this going on in Florida, but in Minnesota, uh, they just approved a permit for a whites-only church. But the mayor insists that the town is not racist. But in a weird Twilight Zone 2021, what the hell is going on? Uh, a, a, the doors to a Minnesota church will soon be open but only white people will be allowed inside. Uh, here's, the, here's the thing. And let me make sure I, I choose my words correctly with this. We don't care. We don't want to come to your church anyway like that. Y'all might get out earlier than us, but y'all ain't singing. Y'all ain't jamming. Ain't nobody in there killing the tambourine. We ain't tripping off of that. What we tripping off of is the stuff that we don't see. Cause y'all trying to be sneaky. See, like this, I feel like this is how the storm on the Capitol started in a small little whites only church. And y'all was like, this is what we're gonna do. So we don't wanna come. We just want the ability to pop our head in like the fuck y'all doing in there. Oh, oh okay, y'all just praising them. Okay, niggas, we're gonna be back. Like that's it. Like, cause when y'all got that 
you got that exclusivity, y'all y'all do little petty shit and y'all start conniving and shit like that. And obviously, I'm using y'all as a blanket statement. I know not all white people are partaking in these Absolutely. Type of menacing activities. What I'm talking about, y'all know who the people that I'm talking about. The people who stormed the Capitol. The people who refuse to believe that they're terrorists. The people who feel like what they what happened at the Capitol shouldn't be shouldn't shouldn't be penalized. Those are the people I'm talking about, and those are the people that I feel like 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 are going to participate in this the most because we ain't we ain't, we ain't tripping off y'all bake sales. We ain't tripping <laughs> off the bake sales. We ain't tripping off the repast that's going to be held at the church. The people bringing the food. We know that food ain't going to be seasoned. We ain't tripping off that shit. Not at all. You tripping? That's funny. Jeff said no reasoning, no seasoning. That's very funny. <laughs> that, that should be the chant for a a, a movement. But what's what's crazy about that is you're absolutely right. It's like this might be the first time because, you know, usually segregation was like it was horrifying. You know, like in back in the day, it was like white people got all the good stuff. Black people got the peanut gallery, the sticky seats and all the bad stuff. But mm -hmm. it's like for the first time, it's like if there if there's a whites only something in, in this age, you're absolutely right. It might just be some shit where it's just like we don't care. Go ahead and have your little whites only thing. Like it doesn't look fun anyways. And what's crazy is like when we do stuff exclusively, it's cool. Right. <laughs> so obviously like that's like basically the biggest problem is that like when people try and it, it doesn't, it's not even have to be like no blacks only, Mexicans only, Asians only thing. It could just be some stuff that that group is just doing amongst themselves. But for right. some reason, like, the oppressor always feels the need to be like, "What's going on in here? Why can't we be in here? What's up? What's 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 right. up?" And it's just like, I don't know. We're just we're we're just saying Black Lives Matter. I don't know. No, well, shit, all lives matter. It's just <laughs> always that like we gotta go in. What's going on in here? Thing, and I don't feel like we have that. It is racist because yeah. they, they don't have anything to say back. People were just like signing petitions and saying that this isn't right and. Uh, the mayor is just like, no, um, it doesn't mean we're racist. It's just we're not racist. But they didn't give no reasons. It's just like everybody all of a sudden thinks that this town is racist and that just isn't the case. Well, what is the case? I mean, we're just just because we voted yes does not mean we're racist. Like there's literally no reasoning behind it. But right, man, thing, like if 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 it was let's say that it was it was it was targeted or promoted to all whites, mm -hmm. like most black people would be like. All right, it's cool. I don't want to be there no way. But having it, taking that option away to make it whites only. So like when a black person walk in, like you can't be in here, boy. Like that is that's the insight. That's the start. <laughs> that is the right. origin story for a black superhero. Like that's, that's what you asking for. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I, 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 you know what? Listen, I just I'm not finna. I'm not even finna wreck my brain trying to figure out how that makes sense. Uh, I'm too excited. I can't even. I, I can't get that no energy, man. Like I, I'm, I'm, I was, I had a good weekend. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm feeling good. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling super chill. Uh, but listen, man, I, I ain't got the time to worry about that, man. I'm in good, good spirits right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Over the weekend, I installed my brand new Hello Tushy 3.0, the modern bidet attachment. Okay, uh, because the future of toileting is here. It has arrived. Okay, and it's technically been around for centuries, but hideously expensive, costing thousands. You have to switch mm -hmm. out your whole toilet, turn the water. It's a whole thing. You don't have to do any of that because Hello Tushy 3.0, the modern bidet is here to level the playing field. Okay, mm -hmm. Hello Tushy 3.0 doesn't just cleanse your butt with a precise stream of fresh water. It cleanses itself too, okay? Before and after with the Smart Spray automatic self-cleaning nozzle. This thing is amazing, okay? You just turn it on, the water comes out, it cleans itself, and then it goes back up into this like own little casing. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, it attaches to your existing toilet, requires no electricity, no additional plumbing, and it cuts toilet paper use by 80%, okay? Dang. So the Hello Tushy bidet pays for itself in a few months because with Hello Tushy, you don't even have to wipe it all. Just poop, spray, dry, and go. Super, super great. I love it. Um, it's super clean, super sanitary, antimicrobial, keeps all the bad things away from you and gets all the good stuff 
keeps it right where it's supposed to be. Plus, Hello Tushy bidet attachment comes with a 60-day risk-free guarantee and a 12-month warranty, all right? Mm -hmm. So if you already got a Tushy on your pot, upgrade to the new 3.0 model. If you're uh, ready for the revolution, join millions of happy Hello Tushy customers right now and have a clean butt with every flush. So, hey, people listening, this is what I need you to do, okay? Hey, Get your underwear ready to be, to be happy all day long. Go to Hello Tushy dot com slash DIYS and get 10% off plus free shipping. This is a special offer just for our listeners. Go to hello tushy dot com slash DIYS. That's H E L L O T U S H Y dot com slash DIYS for 10% off. One more time, that's hello tushy dot com slash DIYS. I feel like a boss with my bidet. This is our third one. So we got it's one in rich. every bathroom now. We got a Hello Tushy in every bathroom. And I love it, man. I feel amazing. If you have a Tushy, you feel rich. Oh, yeah. I, I, I leave the bathroom and I go get a spot of tea and a crimpet as well. Mm -hmm. After a little butt squirt. Everybody, <laughs> you, you, you're sleeping on the butt squirt. Get hey. it. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? You're sleeping on the butt squirt. You gotta. You, that's how you get a clean butt. If you want to sit, you yeah. got nasty, streaky booties on your chairs right now watching this. Get you a tushy and clean your butt. I love you. it. I'm a big fan of it, man. So, what is it? Is that a crimpet? Is it a crumpet? A crumpet? A, a spot of tea and a crumpet, I guess. Oh, I'm did you say a crimpet? I did say a crimpet. I didn't. I don't know what it is. I don't eat them for real. I just be playing. That's quite funny. That is quite funny. All right. Well, we were talking a little bit about church and mm -hmm. church. Um, church be having some scandals, man. Like, you know, people, people don't really think about how much church, uh, how much money church makes and how much, uh, crazy scandal, uh, be in it. But, you know, you know, Kev be talking about it, all the things that he's been seeing, and I'm sure you know a lot about it. Um, but, uh, there's a, a I guess a famous church, the Hillsong church, uh, that has just been in the news for, uh, it was corrupted with inappropriate sex and scandal between the members. Uh, I guess this is a famous church that is not uh, apparently not so holy. This is what the, the the article says, not me. And full of sex and scandal, which is no surprise because of uh, Bieber's ex-pastor, Carl Lentz, was fired for cheating on his wife. <sighs> Uh, it says church volunteers allege that the staff would use the church as a dating surface by sleeping around with the volunteers and asking for nudes and explicit content. There are also accusations of sexual abuse and misconduct. In a letter, one person claimed that a male staffer had multiple inappropriate sexual relations with several female leaders and volunteers that was verbally, emotionally, and according to one woman, physically abusive in his relationships with these women. And that is... I would say that's not really like a, a surprise in the black community, especially the church community. But every time you hear these, it, it does, it does like, um, it almost normalizes it. Like, is this like a normal thing within the church or is it still kind of one of those things that everybody looks at? Like, <gasps> oh, Bro, I don't know why people be thinking because you're in church, you still don't be fucking. People still be fucking in church. Church people might come off holier. They might have a stronger relationship with the Lord. They definitely know more songs than, than regular heathens do, but they mm -hmm. still be fucking. They still be sinning. They still be cursing. Not all of them. I'll obviously, again, blanket statement, but people still be being people regardless if they have God in their life or not. Y'all y'all shouldn't know that by now. So this, this begs the question because, and obviously I'm not talking about uh, all churchgoers, there's a lot of people who go in, get the word, and leave, you know? But there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of people who are very, very involved in the church. And like this shows, a lot of people who are kind of uh, doing some mischievous things. So, um, you know, obviously only j God can judge. But like you said, some of, some of the people in the church be some of the judgiest people on earth. So is it like, is it worse? to be in the church and saying, you know, I'm this, I'm that, and sort of like looking your, pointing your nose up to people who do X, Y, Z, and then be doing all this like crazy stuff within the church. Is that like the same or is that wor worse than just sort of like doing all that outside the church while not, you know, 
pretending to be sort of like this holy figure. Yeah, like Hippie Gold says, it's kind of like the hypocrisy that 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 weighs into it. Mm. So, in your opinion, uh, do you would you say that that's worse, the same? You know, like, does it make you kind of like a, a more sus person to be doing that within the church? Uh, I definitely think that location matters. I know some people like some people are thrill seekers. They just like the thrill of doing it in a new place or the thrill of doing it in a place where you get caught is 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 almost as much of a rush as actually having sex. So um, me, on the other hand, like, nah, there's a couple places that would be off limit for me. I'm like, I ain't, I'm not doing it in Jesus' house. <laughs> I'd have had some impure thoughts in Jesus' house. I'd have seen, you know, S Sister Brown, you know, jumping up and down and things were stinging. I'm like, hey, and I had to look down, like, yo, I'm wilding right now in church. I'm wilding in church. But I was like, I would never take nobody down on <laughs> in the pulpit, that, that's just that's just utter disrespect. That's that's utter disrespect. Take somebody down in the pulpit, like nah, I'm I'm good. I ain't doing all that. Luella said her great grandma used to have a knife in her Bible. What was she expecting to go down while she had was holding? Hey, the Bible? Man, listen, people be running up in church, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> running the up in empty empty your purse right now. She's like, you gotta come and get mine. They go over <laughs> to her to cut. Pull the Bible out. <laughs> Throwing knife. That'd be that'd be actually kind of entertaining. Uh, Saying my grandma was with the shits is funny. <laughs> all right, I have I have a, I have a question. This is just a random meme question. Yeah. Who's going to hell first? Ooh. <laughs> Who's going to hell first? Exhibit A. Let's call him Joshua. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's just a dude, doesn't really go to church like that, you know, believes in the believes in the Lord, doesn't really go to church like that, is married, but be having like an affair. Mm -hmm. And there's brother Josh, who's head deacon in the, the church, you know, giving the word out, you know, telling young men to pull their pants up and be good to people, blah, 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 blah. Super like, you know, down on people for 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 cheating, lying and all that stuff. But he's having affairs. Mm -hmm. Who's going to hell first? They both going. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, here's the same, thing. Based, like, yeah, based on the the basis of religion, no sin outweighs another. So if you're stealing a pack of gum from a store, that's still a, a, still a, thing, a sin because you're stealing. And that sin doesn't outweigh you being a mass murderer of 30. Like, based on based on that, Based on that, just solely on that. So, ba basically, both of them are going. It's just like you, you might get you might get first class if you're the mass murderer. You know, what unpopular I'm opinion. Cap. Cap. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, and I don't know who the fuck am I to say that. But I don't believe that a nigga who steals a pack of gum is on the same hell as as as, as a you know a mass murderer. Or a, a child rapist. I I don't I don't believe it. There's but let no me ask you this. So wait, you say you think it's different degrees of hell? You be like, yeah, it's I'm I'm I'm, I'm trying to get myself together. So I can get up to that that other level. Uh, that, that's when you're just in the furnace. You're not actually in the fire. So we in a fire down here. Oh, I'm trying to get up there where that heat is just you know just kind of blowing. So <laughs> why did you make him talk like that? A worried old black janitor. <laughs> he's, like, just, he's just shoveling coal into the fire while he's burning <laughs> up. Like, yeah, man, one day, man, one day. I've been, I've been you know, the war comes by, I wave to him. You know, I've been doing extra shifts just trying to get it up. And he was like, yeah, all right, nigga, you ain't getting out of here. That's the only way I could wrap my head around it. Um, <laughs> it's just like Lazy Cajun. Uh, no, who said that? M MTM, Hell Has Tears. That is the only way I could wrap my head around it. Um, besides it just not being, <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't wrap my head around gum guy being in there with pedophile guy. I just, I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. I wouldn't. Yeah. I, I just, I just wouldn't do that. I just, you know, that's the, that's the best way to avoid that. It's just not do that. Why, why would you, there's so many other things that you could do. The gum thing too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but I mean, in other, in other church news in Texas, there was a mega church pastor, uh, who just received six years for fraud scheme. 
This is just all happening. His name is Kirby John H. Cat Caldwell. Kirby John, first of all. Mm. 67, just pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud. And he is uh he just got six of them things. Goodness gracious. Damn. He said he was uh, able to use uh uh two men to uh fund over three million dollars in historical Chinese bonds. Wow, and the bonds have no investment value. They were delivered by the former Republic of China. Oh, he he's he should be getting more than six years for this. Man, he he might sounds like, like, <laughs> he sounds like yeah, crazy. He do six years here, then they send him to China. Be like, yeah, you're gonna serve out the rest of your sentence over there. Like the rest. <laughs> Yeah, it says he used his status as the pastor of a mega church to help convince the many victim investors that they um, were making a legitimate investment, but instead he took their hard earned money from them and used it for his own personal gain. I feel like there's no way every mega church pastor isn't doing this. There's just, it's a mega church. Like that just makes no, taking the intimacy out of church is almost taking everything out of it. Like, how do you preach a word? Equally to niggas in the nosebleeds who couldn't afford good tickets, like that's crazy. <laughs> well, they're not; they, they don't cost money, right? I think I've been. No, there. no, no, no. Mega churches are free. It's it's free to go to the church. You can watch them online. Mega church really just speaks to the population uh, of attendees or members of that church and the size of it. So that's I've only really been in nosebleeds. I hated it. Yeah, I, I, just, I don't know, man. I I, I just I, don't know. <laughs> I thought my parents weren't trying to buy tickets like that. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew how it worked. I have never walked into a mega church by my own plans. Like I've really? never, never put I don't like them. I don't like mega churches because I feel like that they're, they're they're not intimate enough. Like I like I like smaller churches where I feel like I have a better connection with the congregation and also a direct line of Jesus. It's like if I go to mega church, like especially out in LA, you go to mega church like uh West Angeles, you had Angela Bassett there, you had Denzel Washington, the niggas tithing. Man, I feel like God be listening to the people that tithe more before he listens to the people. Like if I'm I'm, I'm giving ten dollars every month and then Denzel's giving a thousand, it's like of course he gonna answer this nigga first. <laughs> Yo, if that's how it worked, I that would be full circle. Like, damn, it's always been like that, <laughs> even on a <laughs> biblical level. I can't, I can't, I can't compete with this nigga Denzel. Bro. I'm just, you know what? Listen, I'm just, I'm going, I'm going to stay home. Okay, I'm going to watch this service at home on my tablet. You know, what I'm saying I'm gonna get up early, so I don't, I don't bother nobody. I'm gonna put mm -hmm. my Raycons in, and I'm just gonna watch this service at home, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. That way I, I still get my blessings and I get to experience it with premium audio quality, okay? Because for every new year, every new year, this is around the time people say, I'm going to get this together. I'm going to get that together. You got the New Year's resolutions and all of that. I'm going to start doing this. I pick up this hobby. Whatever you got going on, man, anything and everything goes better with music okay uh and if you stand with people sometimes your new hobby might be a little annoying you might want to start doing vo vocal lessons whatever it is uh i recommend you try doing it with wireless earbuds from raycon whether it's following mm -hmm. directions in a in a in a, a new kitchen uh, uh with recipes that you're trying out for the first time or binging on an audiobook uh, learning how to knit, powering through a new workout, whatever it is, you can do them with a pair of Raycons and make any activity easier and a better time. Raycon makes great sound accessible for everyone. Their wireless mm -hmm. earbuds start at half the price of other premium audio brands. And guess what? What? If you think you're having those white stems ding dangling from your ear doesn't look ridiculous. I'm here to tell you you're wrong, okay? It looks absolutely ridiculous. No one thinks that you're doing more work because you have wires coming from your ears while you're, you're typing outside your Starbucks or in your car. You just look ridiculous, okay? Oh, this is a brand new script I'm working on. Yeah, nobody cares, sir. All right, get you some wireless earbuds, okay? They don't just look great, but Raycons perform wherever you take them with up to six hours of playtime, water and sweat resistance, uh, and the Bluetooth that pairs 
instantly and seamlessly okay uh you've heard me say this before if you don't have a pair of raycons i really have to ask myself why if you already got one why you don't have another one why you ain't got a back i have backups to everything okay so for the people that are ready to take their audio to the next level to get rid of those dangling wires raycon is offering you guys 15 percent off their products for my listeners right now all you have to do is go to buy raycon.com slash diys that's it okay and you'll get 15 percent mm-hmm. off your entire Raycon order. So feel free to grab a pair. And if you already have a pair, grab a spare. That's 15% They're off pair. by Raycon.com slash D-I-Y-S by Raycon.com slash D-I-Y-S. Okay? Mm-hmm. Get your life together. Get you get get you a pair of these real quick. What you know about it? Huh? What you what you know about it? You see this? I just started uh I just took up hiking by the beach. And I just I take my Raycons and I'll be playing classical music. I suggest you guys try that. I classical will never go music hikes hiking with Patrick because Patrick hikes in Crocs and he thinks that is the new wave. And I'm not true. No, that's that's not the bro. That's very dangerous. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> but don't bring Crocs, but do bring the Raycons for the for the classical music. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Very centering. Oh man, that is funny. Pat really uh, be wearing these Crocs though. Pat, what did you? What did I see you at? At the office last week mm-hmm. for last week's episode, you really pulled up in those Crocs and was like, "Yeah, man, you ready to get started?" And I'm like, "Croc what's game, feet, bro. What's what's on your feet, man?" Croc I, game. Uh, I'm tired. Yeah. Oh, they're right here. Don't got them in ar- arm's length. <sighs> Boom. Got the PlayStation. Wait, 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 wait. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there you go. PlayStation controller. Mickey Mouse. Feel me, Astro Boy. They're not. They don't. They don't accept pins as much as I liked. But do you do you do it with socks? You do Crocs with socks, or do you do Crocs with no socks? Or I, both? I do both. What's up, man? It's weird. It's still pretty weird. About you still my bro, though. I just you know you know. Hey, Croc gang, you might you might you might uh give in, man. It's really it's really comfortable. I bet I won't. I bet I won't. Really really comfortable. My Nike slides are perfect. You know what I'm saying. Now I do have, I do have a pair of Birkenstocks. I will I will admit that I have the it's same same the, thing. No 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 no. It's not the 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 foot cover. It's like the two straps over it, like the ones that uh, Trevor used to wear at the office. There's the two straps over the foot Birkenstocks. Ah, I, I okay. just got those because uh, I had just got cool. I had just got a pedicure and I was like, dang, I didn't bring my flops with me, and so I had to run across to Target because I was like, I ain't gonna mess up my pedicure. I just paid money for it, so that's the only reason I have those. Is they didn't have no slides. That's all. That's all they had. Mm, nah. I mean, I, I guess I would get. I guess I would get uh, Birkenstocks. It's not a big, not a big deal for me. Yeah, man. You know, just, just, I just had them out here, just living their best life. <laughs> I have a, I have a question for you guys. We were just talking about Raycons uh, and new technology. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I want to know if you guys would be down for this because I don't, I don't know. So there are rumors that there's an upcoming Apple AirPods, uh, a new version that may give users a uh, body control, which means that they could play back songs by clicking their teeth. Mm, what? It basically, yeah. They, okay. So it says that the new Apple AirPods Pro Two may be able to be controlled by a user clicking their teeth uh first it was facial recognition now apple wants to give consumers the ability to control the upcoming airpods pro 2 with their bodies Uh, according to tech radar the new airpods may come with some cool yet strange new features and controls like being able to adjust your music playback by touching your face shaking your head or clicking your teeth together uh, the announcement of the new controls come as Apple recently filed a patent that describes earbuds that are designed to detect input actions within a structure. These structures are parts of your body, like your ear, your head, and any other part of your body. Uh, the patent, Apple says, the user uh, in the patent, uh, the user may contact an exterior surface of their body, such as the skin on his uh, or her face. And some examples of input actions that were listed included uh, clicking teeth together or moving their tongue, uh, shaking their head, or moving their arms up and down. Uh, This is going to make people look ridiculous on the street. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Absolutely. I remember when I first got my my AirPods, not the pros, when the AirPods first came out, the first first generation. And I remember walking around just with them in my ear talking, and people was like, what is this? 
Yo, who man? He just talking to us. I'm I'm dressed nice, and they still think I'm a crazy person. Can you imagine people walking around? Can't get over to repeat. Uh, hell no. Nah. nah, I don't like it. I hope it's not that much. Um, there's like little vocals because I remember you're right when blue when the Bluetooth thing started coming out, people looked insane talking to themselves, and now between that. AirPods, FaceTime, like it's totally normal to see. So if you see somebody w walking around talking, like I remember it, back in the day, it used to be like, this guy's a douche or crazy. Like yeah. there was nothing in between. But what's your, what's your douchiest buy? Do you have one? Man, probably hundreds. Douchiest buy? The douchiest buy. Echo, for sure. That's one of them. But wait, 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 wait. Was Echo at the time that it was popping, or did you buy it afterwards? I bought it recently. But it's like, Alexa, can you fucking make my lunch or whatever it is? It just makes me feel like an old, like a little white kid. Oh, that Echo. I thought you were talking about the clothing line Echo. I thought you was like. <laughs> she answered me. Yo. That's so funny. That's scary. My um, dude buy is probably my Bose sunglasses with the 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 um yep. the Bluetooth in them. Probably. And I can hear the music and I can take phone calls. I would be at LAX listening to music, then take a phone call. What up, dog? You straight? It's <laughs> crazy. No, that looks crazy. I'm about, to, I'm, about, I'm, about, I'm about to get up on this plane now, but I'm going to hit you in a minute. I did play by. And then you click the little thing. And <laughs> I hated you even in the reenactment. <laughs> that was horrible. And if people look at you, they're looking at your ears like, oh, he doesn't have any earbuds in. This is just raw <laughs> psychoness. <laughs> just the raw psychotic. Oh my gosh, dog. I definitely have that. I still have them too, man. Only thing I like about it was that they didn't hold a charge long enough for me, but I definitely was rocking with them, my boy. Yes, sir. I, yeah, I don't know. I probably have a bunch of them. Probably. Yeah, I, I know I do too. I definitely have more than just, I mean, even this one right here. This is a, this is my other one. This is the soundware from Bose. So this is the one I put around my neck and I can hear my music. I take my phone calls, but this is great. I do my runs on this. I do my workouts on this because like you're doing jumping jacks and the joints fall out your ear. It's just, it's a whole thing. But this, I throw them, throw under my shirt. Now I'm jogging. If I got a hoodie on, it's even more in place. I can take phone calls. I can do the jumping jacks. I can do the sit-ups, the pull-ups, all of that. Now I have to worry about nothing. And it is fantastic. I love this thing. Absolutely love it. I'm kind of confusing. Like, it's it's on your neck, but you it goes up to your ears or what? Yeah. So like the speakers uh, are pointed upward toward your ear area. So like, let me show you real quick. And you can. Can switch. other people hear it? Huh? Can yeah. other people hear it? Yeah. Oh. Other people hear it. I brought it to work when I'm still working at uh, All Deaf. I brought it up there. Uh, let me. E e e yes. I'm never actually taking this off other than to watch it, but usually it stretches a little bit more. All right, so. This is the speaker, and this is where what yeah, this is where you can take phone calls and hear stuff, but like this shoots up towards your ear. So it, you hear the sound perfect. Perfect. I love this thing, man. That's you such a random talking. invention. Shoulder speakers. Yeah, man. I love it. Yeah, those are all yeah, those are all pretty douchey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would say that a ring light is pretty douchey too. I mean, but like, if that's for yes, shooting, for sure. not just for selfies. I mean, that's that's like a business purchase, and even for people who taking selfies, you got a you got a page where people come to your page just to see what you're wearing or your face. Like, man, man, go for it. I don't think that's as douchey as this or the sunglasses. Um, your Crocs are pretty douchey too. I think that's I was about to say that 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 could count. Yeah, uh, I bought a, I bought the pogo stick that you said I probably have. That's pretty douchey. <laughs> um. I was okay trying to grab that before uh, squad cast. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Oh, oh, my God. God. Do she purchases? Oh, where's my charger? I don't want to die. Yeah. All right. Back I don't die. Please don't let me die. Okay. 
Uh, my bad. Oh, my bad. Okay. All right, we back. My computer about to die. One thing is so crazy because I remember, I remember I was on tour. This might have been my first or second tour. So it was 20, 2007 or 2008. And I remember I was in a jacuzzi and I was in college, but I was talking to some older lady. And she was she was asking me super invasive questions, but it, it had taken a turn to like talking about sex and stuff. And she was like, "So, um, so how is it down? How's your hair down there? You one of those guys that like shave and all of that?" And I was like, "Yeah." It's- How's your hair down there? That was a, that's yeah. a convo exactly. starter. Exactly. And I was like, "Yeah," because even back then I kept it tight night, and so I'm thinking like, man, back then I probably was looked at as a douchey guy because I was already into grooming. And now this is a real thing. Like now you have companies like Manscaped and this is amazing because this is what they offer. Like Manscaped is where you go for all of your grooming products, man. Like um, it is number one and below the waist grooming offering precision engineered tools for the family jewels. And it's here to help you have a clean and happy region in this new year, all right? You get to ring in the new year with all the right tools for the job. Manscaped is trusted by over 2 million men worldwide. So join the movie, guys. If you haven't been taking care of yourself, you ain't been keeping it tight down there because you feel like you ain't going nowhere. What are you What, what are you doing? Just listen, just because you ain't going nowhere, does that mean you stop showering? No. You stop washing your hair? No. If you can still get haircuts, would you stop getting haircuts? Absolutely not. So why would you stop personal grooming? Okay? You should not stop that. If anything, increase those routines because you become so comfortable with sitting at home. You feel like you don't have to do it. Listen, hairy nuts are still gross. Okay? So step into this new year with uh, the tree standing taller right, and shave those boys. Okay? Uh, Manscaped is here to give you guys uh, a ton of New Year's resolutions that I actually want to keep, all right? Because a lot of times people start and they let it fall off by February. Now, nah, you're going to want to keep these up. Uh, you check out the perfect patch, package right now. You get their Lawnmower 3.0. This is a waterproof skin safe trimmer, which will reduce nicks. Uh, and, and your two best friends will thank you, fellas. Okay, it's also time to freshen up down there in this new year. The Crop Preserver is an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer, all right? You already put deodorant on your armpits. Why not put them on your balls? Who don't like fresh balls? Everybody loves fresh balls. Keep Everybody loves fresh balls. balls. You, you got to love fresh balls, man. So get that Crop Preserver. They also have the, the ball toner, okay? Comes in a nice spray. Start the new year off right with proper grooming with a fresh set of testes. Go to Manscaped, okay? This is all you have to do. Just throw it in the bag. Right now, we're giving our listeners 20% off and free shipping when you use the code DIYS at manscaped.com. Again, that's 20% off. Not 10, not 15, 20% off and free shipping with the code DIYS at manscaped.com. All you have to do is use that code DIYS and you get 20% off and free shipping. Listen, guys, it's a new year. Get you some new balls. If you can't get no new ones, then just make sure yours are fresh, okay? Because that's what we out here doing. Let's new go. New year, new year, new balls. That is. That's what's up. It I like is. that. I like that a lot. Um, let's get into some conspiracy corner, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Conspiracy corner is a bike. Um, we got two today. We mentioned it very briefly on another episode. Mm-hmm. Um, but I have been very, very into the Black Vault. Um, these files that the CIA just released. Um, CIA, I mean, just in the midst of this is the second time they've released uh UFO related stuff mm-hmm. uh within the pandemic. Seems like a very distracting time to do it. But if you don't know, uh the Black Vault uh basically released a new trove of CIA's classified UFO documents. Uh, and now they're available for you to download and dig through with yourself. Um, you know, uh, UFOs have always been a thing, mm-hmm. but them having alien origins is what we did not know. You know, just because it's an unidentified flying object, that means it could be from a foreign country. It could be our own government. It could be a number of things. Um, but there are um, hella skeptics, um, a lot of conspiracy theorists 
But thanks to the Black Vault, this is a new uh, online archive of declassified government documents. You can actually dig through a trove of information that the CIA has collected on UFOs over the years uh, and see for yourself. Um, the Black Vault's John Greenwald Jr. posts the contents of a CD uh, full of 2,780 pages of documents. Um, and um, this is uh, all the result of Greenwald's Many Freedom of Information Act. Um, and uh, the CIA occasionally discusses this kind of stuff. Um, and they even made a... Actually, I, I didn't know this, but the, the CIA made a reading collection available online. Uh, covering info from the 1940s through the 1990s. Uh, and then last year, the the U.S. Navy declassified documents and video connected mm -hmm. to a 2004 UFO counter encounter that I mentioned <laughs> before. Um, but this new collection should keep alien uh, busy, uh, excuse me, alien fans busy for a while. Um, this is an example. Um, there, there's an example that was tweeted of the kind of documents that you can find. Uh, and this is from 1970. I guess it says uh, in this CIA UFO document, the assistant deputy director uh, for science and technology was shown something related to a UFO that was hand carried to him. He decided he would personally look into it. And after he gave advice on moving forward, that advice is classified. And then it shows a, um, it shows a doc. I'll do my best to read it. It's kind of a, uh, it looks very old, uh, but it says, per the request in reference, we attempted to attain, obtain analytical guidance on the UFO blank subject. Uh, we contacted uh, Dr. Blank to see if he knew of any official UFO program and also to attempt to answer some of the questions posed by Blacked Out. Uh, Dr. Blacked Out uh, exhibited interest in this which had uh, hand carried, who had been uh, hand carried to his office. After a short examination of its contents, Doctor Blank advised us that he would personally look into the matter and get back to us. As we discussed in reference, Doctor Blank has since contacted us and relayed the following information: It would appeal to, it would appear to be best if you advised Blank that he should, and then the rest is, I guess you have to see for yourself. But uh, it's kind of creepy, kind of creepy. So if you um, um, if you want to uh, download these, they are available. You can kind of just go through document after document after document. I know I am. Uh, see if I can find some cool stuff uh, to bring back to the store, uh, to the to the to the podcast. But uh, this is kind of it's kind of interesting. I've never been a part of uh, something like this, which is kind of why I want to go into it. I've never been. I've never seen this happen. Uh, where the government is just kind of like, hey, we have some alien stuff if you want to go through it. Um, <laughs> We're not going to do it for y'all. I was like, can you just point us in the yeah. door? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we can't do that, but, you know. But uh, Yeah, you, you think it would just be like an announcement, like for some reason, like they would have like cameras in the wet White House and there'd be like a six hour long thing, just like this is this, this is this, this is this, and this is this. Hell no. Nah. They're just like, man, you... If you want to know, you you read through all this stuff. It's just like, oh, okay. I don't know if I want to know that bad. Okay, I guess so. Um, the next up uh, in the conspiracy corner, besides uh, the Black Vault, is kind of a it's kind of a darker story. Um, this is more of a forensic files esque. Um, but uh, have you ever heard of Grisilda, the Godmother Blanco? I've I've heard of Griselda, the rap group, and I feel like I've heard the Godmother uh, part separately, but I've not, I, I don't think I've heard it all together. Well, I'm sure she's hella famous. It might be from this because uh, she was actually suspected of over 200 murders. Uh, just a fucking lot. She made over 80 million a month in drug money. Uh, and she uh, was allegedly kidnapped and uh, she, excuse me, she allegedly caught her first body. She kidnapped and killed a child when she was 11 and only ever served 15 years in prison before being killed in a drive by shooting at the age of 69. Do you know how much dirt you would have had to have done to get a, killed in a drive by at 70? That's wild. I've Bro, never even heard just, of that. <laughs> Here's the thing. You you would think she would have got out the game. She was just like, nah, 
I'm still running things. <laughs> I always feel like that's the problem with drug lords. Like no one, you never hear a drug lord saying they um they gonna do it for this this amount of time or they want to get to this amount of money. Even Walter White, when he got to the money, he still was like, he still was like, yeah, I got to keep it going. He, he couldn't get out of it. Like you never can just get out of it. Like you are stuck. I probably, I probably at that high level, it becomes addicting. And it's like, I, I started seeing signs of this. Like when you really, really get into the groove of, of um, going forward, it's really hard to stop. And I, I remember like hearing you and Kev and like a bunch of people who make constant very, very consistently when they, when we had to slow down or slow down a little bit during the holidays, we all felt it the very, yeah. very similarly. And it was almost like hard to get used to. And, and then for me personally, like when I did uh, like finally relax, it was kind of hard to get back into the, the swing of things. So I can only imagine on a high level drug Lord making 80 million a month, like it might be something that you're just wired at that point. Like you just can't, you're obsessed with it. And I don't think it's about money at one point, you know, because at one point you, you have enough money for your family to go. Forever. It's just power. I want to keep getting more and more power, power. Like I want my, my drugs to be in America. Now I want this Bro, to be in $80 million a year. I mean, a month, $80 million a month, bro. What's that? Let me see. What's 80 times 12. <laughs> I remember them talking about how uh, Escobar was making so much money. Like he couldn't put it in the banks. He was burying money in the, in the, in the backyard or burning it. Or burn <laughs> you got so much money. You got to burn it. You got to get bro. Come on. Bro. I remember there's a famous story about him being stuck in a cave, hiding from police. And he just burned money all night to keep warm. But he was also giving it out to the, the, the people. It's like at one point and, and it's illegal. So it's like laundering is a whole nother mess that you have to worry about. It's just, you're right. Like no, uh, most of, or at least most of the ones that we know about that are famous don't know how to just keep it contained and just mm -hmm. and just eat. But I feel like another big part of it is like once you're making eighty million dollars a month, you ain't nobody gonna let you leave. Yeah. I see that in it's almost in every season. Like the one guy who's just like, okay, I made enough for my family. It's been six months. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a good time. You know, have a good life. And then them niggas turn on their car and it explodes <laughs> like this. I don't know. Yep. Yeah, that is true, though. You can't just get out the game because you got to think about how many people eating off of that $80 million, not just your family, but like your workers and all of that. Was, but you seem like if you were the head, you just like, all right, it's promotion day, guys. James, give it up for James. James will be taking over the organization right now. I actually have to go do 15 years of jail, and that's when you just disappear. But <laughs> that was the other thing I thought could happen. I was just like, why not just train somebody to replace you, and now the, the same amount of money is being made um but then i saw this documentary no no was that a, what, what was that a documentary shit it might have just been a regular drug out the show <laughs> but the dude replaced himself and still got killed because the nigga knows too much yeah it's just like, it's just like somebody you can't just be like all right i'm gonna just go off and, and, and chill so that someone can torture me and find out all like it's just too much I, you in. if i ever thought about doing that the levels that I would go through of treachery, like I would be, I would run it, but no one would know. Cause I would be like, I would be like the bodyguard or the assistant for the guy. And I'm like, I've never, I actually never seen him. Uh, we always talk through intercom. Right. But it would be me. I had pre-recorded all my responses and everything. Like I would be sending myself to go do all the deals. And then I would fake my own death. Like get pictures of me being thrown in the hole with blood dripping off my face. And like, ah, oh, man, he was a good guy. Get reconstructive surgery and live out the rest of my life in the Bahamas. Did you just steal Chris Sosa's dad's fake death? <laughs> no, just, just the death part. Just the death part. But that everything else, no, nah, I, I, because I've thought about this. Like, <laughs> how would I do this? Like, I would never. I would always be like the assistant, but I've never seen the guy. Never been in the same room with the guy. Nobody been in the same room with the guy. He does everything via phone they'd be like well i need to meet your boss I'm like i haven't met my boss i've been working for my boss for 10 years i've never met him how is this possible nigga because he's paid i don't think that would work <laughs> <laughs> i do not think that, that would work i'm sorry <laughs> hey, mm -mm. <laughs> how does it work it, it costs me nothing to mind my business ain't nobody can't get it i don't i don't i don't get this business long as my check goes through you know what I'm saying my direct deposit to drugs <laughs> Drug dealers are now in the Miss Credit Union. 
<laughs> nah, I'm not buying it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm good on that. Oh, man. <laughs> well, listen, guys, that's been another episode of Damn Internet You Scary, man. We got to get ready for a squad cast real quick. Uh, we appreciate y'all pulling up, man. Big shout out to the Scary Squad, man. Uh, look forward to doing another 21 questions uh, coming up soon. We had a lot of fun with the first one, man. So I will try to get the announcement in Patreon a little earlier uh, and Discord a little earlier so you guys can know how we're going to go through with the picking. It's always going to be like a riddle or some type of something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But uh definitely want to get more people on the 21 questions because we had a blast with that on the last show. So uh, as always, I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud. And we'll see you next week on another episode of Damn Internet. You're scary. Later, guys. Peace, guys.